Okay, so this is the next video. I know you guys have said, what did you do this in the next video? Well, that way I don't have to put out so many videos. Okay, so we got an update on the Brown Ford and the Toyota Tacoma. The Toyota Tacoma will be in the next video. The Brown Ford is going to be in this video. The Brown Ford is not going to be fixed anymore. And I guess if somebody wants to buy it for 2500 bucks, they can. Otherwise, it's just going to rot away in the trees here. Um, there's too much... Uh, people say one thing and say the next thing and say this is wrong with it, this is wrong with it. We don't have the money. I don't want to fix it. I don't care about it. It's just going to sit here in this tree right here. If it hails on it, it hails on it like it did last year. Sat out here and it hailed on it, but the trees were there. So it's not going to no longer run. It's just going to sit here. It's just going to sit here unless somebody wants to give us $2,500 cash. Otherwise, it's just going to sit here. As you've seen how it runs, that's how it runs. So, just gonna sit here. It needs new tires, new brakes, front end suspension, new battery ends, new batteries. Uh, there's a fuel system problem somewhere. Water pumps out. There's something not right with the belt. The brakes do not work very good on it. The windshield's cracked. Um, 4x4 works. And the transmission works. Engine does not burn oil. Got a brand new radiator and injectors in there, but that didn't do any good. It made it worse. Uh, so, just to let you guys know, we'll no longer run this. So just sit here. Because the water pumps out on it right now, I do not want to start it the way it is. I'd run it, but the water, the fan's going to go right through the radiator the way it is. It, it's very hanging on the pulley. The bearing's out on it. Tires have been on there since 2001 when we got it. Uh, it has 242,000 miles on it, original miles. Second transmission they claimed when we got it. Tires flat on that. Rusting out there. Two fuel tanks. We tried fuel additives, we tried everything. I think there's a lot more to it. We don't know what's wrong with it than we think it is. So it's just going to sit here. So uh, to let you guys know you guys keep harping about it fixing stuff we're not going to fix it there's a lot more wrong with it and you guys don't know so it's the reason why it's sitting here I can't explain it like I said I can't go into details what happened about it because I'd get in trouble get my ass chewed out so. all right guys I guess uh, Ford's uh, they all have to die eventually sometime you just can't fix them forever so it probably need a good five thousand dollars worth of money parts to put in there to get a good running vehicle about five grand i'd say with labor that's how much it needs so is it worth fixing probably not all right guys well thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe follow me on twitter this will be the end probably the ford you won't see this again probably just sit there um don't do any good to start it like i said we don't want to wreck the brand new radiator with the fan going through there otherwise i'd start it but i'm not going to mess with it so we got a new Ford now and we got a new Chevy. If it'll focus on it. There's a six liter Chevy with three hundred and twenty-five thousand miles and the F three fifty power stroke with probably six hundred and ninety-four thousand miles. I have no idea, but it's got three hundred and sixty-four thousand miles that stopped working when we got it, so or before we got it, so somebody didn't hook the speedometer up. So we got another Ford, we got a Chevy, and we got that Dodge up there. And in the next video, we'll talk about that. So, I mean, I wish I could get this one going, guys, but there's a long story about behind what happened about it. So, all right. Take care, guys.